Quiet on the set. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Lift off. Wow, this is the first show of 2014. We hope you had a wonderful Christmas break. Hello everyone, it's time for Good Morning LCA. Hi, I'm Sydney. And I'm Cooper. And I'm Gracie. Today is Wednesday, January 8, 2014. Wow, that sounds strange, 2014. Hey guys, did you make any New Year's resolutions? I did. What's a New Year's revolution? No, Gracie, a resolution. It's something you resolve or promise to do for the next, for the new year. Like this year, I'm going to try and read 100 books by the end of the year. That's awesome. And I'm going to try to hula hoop. Oh, gotcha. This year, I think I'll try to be able to take a pill. Okay, guys, what's your New Year's revolution? Gracie, it's not a res it's a resolution, not revolution. Yeah, with an S, not a V. Try again. Come on. You can do this. Concentrate. Concentrate. Okay, here it goes. Ready? Absolution. What's your New Year's absolution? All right, ready? It's time to be patriotic and show, and show our love for our country. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Check this out. Time for some 2014 news you can use. Except we don't really have any news today. Yeah, guys, we're actually recording the show before Christmas, so we have absolutely no idea what's going to be happening when we get back to school. Surely we can come up with something. Let's think, mm. guys. Hmm. I've got one, something. The second annual fourth grade chili cook-off is coming up next week. Oh, yeah, you're right, Sydney. Oh, I've got one, too. The lower school math night is, February, is in February. Have you got anything else, Gracie? Hmm, hmm, let me think. Oh, right, I've got one. The first grade Dr. Seuss breakfast is also in February. Oh, and the fourth grade trip to Austin and San Antonio is in March. And the first, and the first day, and the last day of school is May 23rd. Hold on, Cooper, we better not start thinking about the last day of school just yet. We've got a long way to go. Yeah, you're right. I guess I'll stop here. We'll stop here. That's it for the news. No weather report today, just not happening. I agree, it would be impossible to know exactly what the weather is going to be like so far in advance. We could just make something up. Isn't that what the guys do on TV? No, Gracie. I, I know it seems like they, the weathermen just make things up as they go along, but there's really a lot of science and prediction that goes into a weather forecast. Yeah, you've got to go to school and get a college degree. Really? Wow, I didn't know that. I thought they just made it up. Sorry, all you other people out there. I guess I didn't give you enough credit. That's it for the weather report. Coming up next... He shoots, he scores! Between the pipes! Put on your brain bucket! It's time for some legacy sports, I think. In case you're wondering, Gracie, those were hockey terms. Between the pipes means the puck or biscuit goes into the net. In other words, score. And the brain bucket is your helmet, something you really need in hockey. For example, this would be a brain bucket. Okay, you had me worried there for a minute. I mean, what's all the hockey lingo stuff? Well, I've been learning a lot about hockey lately because Gabrielle's brother, Joseph, plays hockey, and I think it's really cool. Nothing wrong with that. We better get moving on to basketball news. Our boys varsity basketball team plays on Friday night against Covenant Christian Colleyville. Wow, try saying that three times real fast. Anyway, tip-off is at 7.30, but this is an away game, so check out the website for directions. 
Ditto for the girls. They also play on Friday night against Covenant Christian Colleyville, but their game starts at 6 o'clock, and I'm not even going to try to say that three times in a row. And remember, there's lots of other basketball games. We have junior high and junior varsity games, too. For all the latest new sports news, check out the Legacy website at www.legacyca.com. Yeah, go, go, high, win, go, go Eagles! It's time for the Buzz on Books. Our wonderful librarians, Miss Hamilton and Miss Hunter, are coming today to bring us all the latest and greatest libraries. Take it away, Miss Hamilton. It's 2014, how exciting! A new year with lots of revolutions, I mean, absolutions, ah! I mean, resolutions. I know, I know, I love Sydney's new revolution. Read 100 books. Sydney, you are going to be so smart because remember, books bring knowledge. Maybe some of you should make that your resolution. Mrs. Hunt has been on busy, busy, busy getting ready for all our new books for you to check out. Sydney, you will have lots to choose from with the other boys and girls at our school because we have, Mrs. Hunt, you tell them how many books we have to start the new year with. 117 new books in the library. We have them all display, displayed over the tops of the shelves so you can check them out starting this week. Teachers, don't forget to come by and take a look at all the new books so you can check them out too. I'm so glad Mrs. Hunt is on the show with me today. We thought we should we would share some just a few of our awesome new books we got in. Mrs. Hunt, take it away. Well, let's start with nonfiction, books about real life stuff. We got in new books about marbles at Will Blackwell's request. Did you know that the first marble game was played by men in Greece almost 3,000 years ago? We got in four new gem books, rubies, sapphires, turquoise, and opals. The diamond book isn't here yet, but it's coming. We got in a book about giant pandas. Eric Erickson, you will want to check this one out. And for all our college football fans, we got in Ole Miss Rebels and Wisconsin Badgers. Cool new books, Mrs. Hunt. I will share some of our new books about our fiction books with everyone. We got in three new Pokemon books for all our Pokemon lovers out there. A new collection of Princess Posey. Those are chapter books just right for our short chapter book lovers. When Posey puts on her pink tutu, she turns into Princess Posey. Someone brave and special who can do anything. If you are a fan of the Horse Diaries series, we have a new series called Dog Diaries. We have Buddy, the German Shepherd, Ginger, the Golden Retriever, and Barry, the St. Bernard. For our mystery lovers, we have Nancy Drew, the Scarlet Macaw Scandal, and from the Infinity Ring series, we have The Curse of the Ancients. It's book number four. I don't know if you know this, but each book in the Infinity Ring series is written by a different author. We can't end the show without announcing our special birthday book this week. Mrs. Hunt, take it away. Our new birthday book is about Bulldogs. It was don donated by Landry Farley in Mrs. McCollum's first grade class. Landry's birthday will be at the end of the week on Sunday, January 12th. Thanks, Landry. Hope you have a great birthday. Well, that's it for Buzz on Books. Bye, guys. Bye. Happy New Year. Thanks, Miss Hamilton and Miss Hunt. You guys rock. It's time for Bible Trivia. How much do you know about God's Word? Time to learn something new. Our last question was so long ago. It was last year. Anyway, last time we asked, why did Mary and Joseph name their son Jesus? Did you know the answer to this one? It's in both Matthew and Luke. That's right, Cooper. Gabriel told Mary to name the baby Jesus, and Joseph also had a dream, and in the dream he was told to name the baby Jesus. The name Jesus means Savior, which is perfect since Jesus saves us from our sins. Okay, time for a new question. Gracie, can you come up with something from the Old Testament? Sure. Give me a second to think about it. Okay, there, here's one. In Pharaoh's dream, what did the seven lean cows to the seven fat cows? Good one, Gracie. You can find the answers to this one in 
Genesis chapter 41. Also, be sure to watch us next time to see if you got it right. That's it for Bible Trivia. Okay, that's it for the first show of 2014, we hope. Sure hope you enjoyed it. This is our last show, but don't worry. We have a new team just waiting to have their turn. The next team will be Alexa B, Kaylee, and Gabrielle. You know, guys, I'll always remember this experience. You know, magical dinner, New Year's absolutions, and hockey lingo. Hey, Cooper, do you want to go play hockey? Sure. Get the biscuits and brain buckets. I think I'll stay here. I got the biscuit between the pipes. Was it a one-timer?